Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Burlock, I have um, stopped at the house on um, Jolly Road. This house is very, very, very secluded. Um, this house is on a private road. And when I say that the road is very private, it is a very long road all the way back out to the main road. So it's all on gravel um, and the homeowners that are actually on this private road would be responsible for maintaining it as far as snow removal and all that good stuff. But the lot is, is cleared off very well. If you had any pets or anything, they have a lot of space to uh, run around. And this is your true log cabin house that you like mr randy <laughs> um excuse if the camera is moving a little too much because i am walking as you would see it as you were walking in this is probably some type of storage but this is a big patio area here and you also have like a little place to sit under there that's more yard space back there goes all the way back they also have another I guess you would call it carport or um, somewhere if you wanted to put some tables or sit under there that have any cookouts or anything and this would be some type of storage I'm gonna see if there is a way to get over here but I'm not sure And there is it. They have quite a few like the uh, storage places. They have a place over there for wood. Let's see if you can put a zoom in there. You see that wood there? Some other little storage places out here. Hope this sun is not blocking this camera too bad I'll have to see if the key that I have works this storage place here but I'm not sure well, let's check it out all right hope you can see this with the sun is very bright out here today but um, as you can see they have like a little deck here off of the side of it with a hot tub so you can come right off of that hot tub and walk out to that shaded area there fire pit outside not sure if that conveys All right, let's go ahead and move into the inside here. As you can see, this is a true log cabin style home. All right, so inside here would be, I guess you would say your utility area. They have an extra storage space out here. Moving into the living room here. You have skylights. Sorry, I'm trying to focus the camera. apartment for the trash this has an opening in between these cabinets as you can probably see here it looks out over here 
You can also kind of see above those cabinets, as you can see the stairwell there. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. And coming down this room here, let's just see what some of these closets. Okay, so you would have a pantry in there. Wow, that thing goes all the way up too. Okay. These are done by, I guess, two by fours. Another little storage area, but it also has like some of your ducks, I guess you would say. Another shelving area. Let's see, where is the light for this bathroom in here? Okay, here we go. So, has the one sink here. This is the bathroom off of the hallway. And it has a shower there. And there is a door that comes off of that bathroom into another room, which could very well be I don't know if it would be the master, but we will see in just a second. The ceilings look like this with another skylight. But I'm gonna come in the corner so you can see the width of the room. And for you, Miss Angela, I'm gonna check out these closets because I know us females always tend to want to see how big these closets are because we have a lot of clothes. Storage up there. Goes back in there pretty far. Alright. So, back off of that. Going back out to the hallway. Now, here's another room, but it has a bathroom as well. So, this could very well be the master. It's a pretty good size room. It also has a skylight in this room as well. Here is the other closet, pretty much the same size as the other one there. Okay. So this is a very good size room and they also do have ceiling fans in here too, right beside that skylight. Sorry, camera's trying to focus. All right, so back out into the hallway. So you have your two bedrooms downstairs. Let me cut that light off. Two beds downstairs and two full bathrooms downstairs. So then we come over here to go up to the stairwell. And this stairwell is on the other side of the home. So you see your kitchen in there. So let's go take a look as to what we have. And when you get up here on these stairs, you can look down the entire, the entire downstairs almost. Okay. Alright, so then there's another bathroom up here, but 
the light may not be working. Okay, here we go. The ceiling is cut kind of low. This is uh, storage under there. I guess they kind of made a little cubby. And this has a shower. Y'all please forgive me if, I, if you hear me breathing hard. I've been out of the weather and my asthma has been acting up pretty hard these last few days. Let's see if there's a light in here. But this is like a closet off of this room up here. So it's not a full closet because the, the roof kind of slants. But they have a lot of stuff in here that they store. So, But you can walk in there. It goes back pretty deep. I don't see a light. And this is the other room here. Okay. I'm going to kind of stay in the corner so you can see. This is how this room feels here. So it's your own private room upstairs with a full bath with your two bedrooms down. So this is a very cute, very cute cabin style home with a lot of privacy. I'm sure that, um, let me see if we could, uh, oh, okay. So technically, in a sense, this should probably be the front door. So I'm assuming that I came in off of the side of the house, but the front door is facing the other part of the dirt road. So I'm assuming the road that I passed at first was the road that I was trying to figure out what that was as well. So I think there's two ways to get in here where you can access that dirt road right there. Still a lot of land all the way around here. So yeah, this is the front that also has ceiling fans. Nice size porch on here, definitely. All right, so I'm gonna go on to the next house, but let's see first. So that's the only, okay. So with this kitchen being as open as it is, I'm going to stand over here so you can see exactly what I'm getting ready to explain. As you see the kitchen, the refrigerator is not actually right here. It's in that room that I first walked into. So this is where your refrigerator would stay housed. Back here. Let's see if this lock will... Open up that uh, storage right there, you guys. I can't get the key out of here. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. This is very cute and very secluded, but I can tell you if you guys like kind of like that country living, this is definitely it. Um, you don't have any neighbors that will even bother you or hear you out here if you want to be out here playing some loud music or what have you. Let's see, yeah, this, uh, I can't get in here, but I'm, I'm assuming that this is some type of workshop. There's a, there's a huge structure, so, Randy, if you wanna have a little hobby business or something out here, you probably have enough storage space out here to, to do that. All right, so I'm going on to the next house, and I will talk with you guys shortly.